Hey, what's going on, friends? Glad to have you with us on the stream tonight. My name is Matt Austin, live in the News 6 newsroom. Hopefully you're having a good evening. We have a fascinating, disturbing story for you tonight that I'm going to tell you about. I'm going to tell you about this guy who actually showed up to court today and admitted that he was drinking. Not just that, though. That's not even the worst part of the story. This same guy is accused of driving drunk as a school bus driver with 40 kids on the bus. Happened in Flagler County. Let me refresh you on the original story very quickly, and then I'll show you what happened today in court. Deputies arrested McNeil on February 10th. They say employees at Buddy Taylor Middle School smelled alcohol on him and alerted the transportation director. But they say McNeil picked up about 40 students and then proceeded with his route in a bus that wasn't assigned to him. Deputies say McNeil ignored multiple radio calls to him from transportation employees. They say his boss eventually found him, stopped him, and said he fell out of the bus. Fell the boss out of called the, bus. the sheriff's office. Deputies say he was nearly four times the legal limit for alcohol. Alcohol. The judge said the court. So there you have a guy caught four times above the legal limit for alcohol while he's driving a school bus. Terrifying as a parent, right? So that guy shows up to court. This just happened. And he's slurring his words. He's acting strange as he's talking to the judge. Judge says, Hold on, you need to get tested before we go any further in this. And the guy says, No, I'm not. I'm not going to get tested. And then finally, he admits in court. Take a listen. Bill now test. Do you know, do you know, Your Honor, that you know, you know what? I am impaired. So that's him right there admitting to the fact that he is drunk in the courtroom while he is being accused of being drunk, taking students to school. Obviously, you know, it is sad in the fact that this is someone who obviously has a problem. Uh, glad those kids are safe is what Susan, Susan's saying as she joins us tonight on the feed. Uh, Tina's saying he should be charged with child endangerment. I think that is, he's got a whole list of charges. He's a 60-year-old. His name's Mark Michael McNeil. Obviously, he's uh, the balding gentleman there getting handcuffed in court. And he just admits to the whole thing. So today, he was. this was a plea hearing. So he's in court. He's trying to make a plea, and the judge is like, I'm not accepting your plea. You're not even sober, at least according to the judge. So, yeah, unbelievable that this happened. I agree with you, um, Janice. Thank you for weighing in tonight. Hopefully everybody's doing okay. Carol saying, OMG. Everybody's happy. The kids are safe. Good to see you tonight, Todd. Lucy um, saying, scary. This guy was actually at the school. Folks smelled alcohol on him. Noticed he was acting kind of crazy. When they pulled him over, the bus was swerving. He was able to leave the school and go. They had to call the cops uh, just to get this out. If you're just tuning in, no, we have a lot of people joining us tonight. I want to show you the point today at which this school bus driver, accused of driving drunk, admits to the fact that he is also drunk in the courtroom right here. Do you know, do you know, Your Honor, that, you know, you know what, I am impaired. So that's him admitting, Janice saying, is this in Flagler County? Yeah, this was the Flagler County school bus driver who was arrested with 40 kids. We've been following this case because obviously it's a bit insane that a school bus driver would be four times the legal limit while he's driving around your kids at school. Uh, Amy's saying, no one who knowingly puts anyone's lives in danger deserves, deserves any kind of leniency. Absolute insanity. It is. It's a crazy story. I mean, this is, I thought this was a crazy story before, and then the guy goes into court today and admits that he was drunk. So it is one of the many stories we're covering for you tonight on News 6. We would love for you to join us for the 11 o'clock news. My name's Matt Austin. We'll have even more on this and the fallout. Coming up tonight.